know we have to have an objective when we are pressed. Ready again, red. I'm very comfortable with what we're doing so far. The guys, they have been working hard. They're enjoying themselves. Uh, we're doing a lot of discussions with them, a lot of reflection, self-reflection and team reflection. Every training session has its own objective, so the objective has to be met on a day-to-day -day basis. It's important for us to follow our periodization cycle. And I'm pretty comfortable with what I've seen and um, our progression going forward. We're looking to play some local games. Um, uh, about three parish teams have written to us for games so those are games that we're looking forward to coming in the next two two to three weeks we're also in an international camp where we are targeting two practice games abroad uh, that will take us to about two weeks to the tournament uh, in the third week leading up to the tournaments we're planning to mimic the competition which is important for us uh, the competition will be played over five days this is a cfu round of olympic qualifiers against guyana st kitts and um, dominica uh, the game will be playing with a one in one day interval rest so we'll play on this particular day rest the next day play and and so forth until it, it ends it's important for us to mimic that to see how well the guys will recover so we have to watch the first defender. We have to watch him body position and in reaction. These guys are probably like a golden generation. The Alex Marshalls and the Paris, Kaim Paris, and just to name a few, Venton Evans from Portmore and many others, Jamai Topi. Uh, a lot of quality players that are known to the Jamaican public are involved in this squad. So it's important for us um, to get them together, integrate them. Uh, I think our chances could be very well good. Um, it's 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 for us to see in the last, but everything has to do with the preparation. Yes! Now we go and get a clap. <laughs> ah, let's go. Good job, 